a very long time, like poor heart, mate. You must be, I don't know, I guess mixed emotions, but like you're in there with a young hungry kilo like yourself. No, yeah, this is what it is. You know, it's uh, fighting at the top of the division, and it just is what it is, man. He was a better man tonight, just flat out. Did you feel like he, there was anything that Tim did tonight that you didn't expect? Was he better than you thought he was? No, it was honestly exactly what I was expecting. You know, I just wasn't able to make certain adjustments. You know, like that's why, like, when I was able to neutralize at certain points, this and that, but I wasn't able to get my offense. So he did his thing, man. He was just a better man. How did you see the fight? How did you see his ring presence? And how did you feel? Uh, I felt close, you know, up until the second half. That's when, you know, he really uh, started finding his rhythm more than mine. Uh, I let him get a little bit too much, too much uh, momentum and everything. And it's just, you know, that's the way it played out. Were you hurt? Sir? Were you hurt? Uh, man, we're throwing bombs in there. I think. <laughs> but I mean, like, as in, did you feel like you might be about to go, go in the point? Did I what? Did you feel like you might have been about, might have finished earlier? Man, I told you, I'm, I'm gonna go out on my show every time. You gotta kill me to get me out of there, and I feel like I showed that tonight. Mm. And I didn't come here just to show that. I'm not a type of guy that, oh, thanks, you know, I did a great fight. It, mm. it just is what it is, man. This is a sport, and I trained, you know, 110%. I, I did bring everything, and like I said, I'm gonna go out on my show type of guy. So. Even uh, heard or not, man, I'm like, you gotta kill me to get me out of there. Did you feel, did you think he was gonna compose himself at that pace in the fight? Or how did you think he was gonna start? Uh, you know, honestly, I did. You know, for some, some of the things he was saying in the build up, I, I, I kind of thought, you know, he was gonna wait till I like faded or something in the second half. But it just, it was, like I said, man, you know, that's all I gotta say. Like, he found his rhythm, he was a better man tonight, and it is what it is, you know. I clawed my way back from from a loss before and I'll do it again. What are you going to learn from this one? Just more experience, man, more experience. You know, definitely got a, a lot of adjustments to make, you know, things to fine tune and everything. It just is what it is. We keep building off this. This doesn't stop anything. Tim said that ideally his next opponent would be Jamel Charlo. If that was to happen, if Charlo was to come down, who wins that fight? Man, uh, they, <laughs> they got a fight, you know. Like I said, uh, Tim was definitely, you know, sharper and everything. and. Man, that's, that's for them to figure out, man. That's a, I just, I don't know. <laughs> I think that would be a great fight, though. Yeah, do you sort of feel that now? he's at that level where he's talking, you know, he's ready to take those guys on? No, of course, I always knew we were at that level. That's why me and him fought, you know, it's the top two in the division. And now, you know, Charlie's coming back down and everything, but that's what it is, man. You know, it's, we're, uh, we're at this level, and it just is what it is. Obviously, the fight's still very fresh, but thinking on it now, where do, you, where do you see yourself fighting again? March next year, or would you like to go earlier? Uh, I just literally got off with the phone with my advisor, Lee Lekouba Jr. And you know, he, he's already talking about, you know, making some moves and this and that. And then, uh, no, I'm gonna just take a little rest. You know, I never take time off. It's just, uh, we're gonna be back in the gym. I'm gonna be back in the gym right away. I'm, I'm hungry already, man. I'm just, there's there's things I need to fix and everything. So soon, we'll be working, we'll be learning. Good. Good. Can, well, can, I, can I just ask what impressed you about Tim's performance? Or was there anything that surprised you? Like I said, you know, a lot of it was what I expected, you know, everything, but I just wasn't able to get mine. He was able to get his game plan going and sharper than mine, and, you know, his reaction and everything, his timing, and uh, that's the thing, you know, I, I let him get too much momentum, and he was able to do that. How was your time in Australia? What did you think of our country? Uh, I loved it, man. You know, it's obviously not this part, but it's just, uh, I don't know, a beautiful country, beautiful people, still... You know, like I said, you know, the, the crowd, I, I knew there would be a lot of more, a lot more hostility tonight, but I still loved it. I fed off that energy and that's what, that's what like helped me, you know, dig deep, you know, in the, those later rounds and everything, that second half and just keep, keep going. But no, I, I, I still love this country, still a beautiful country, none of that changes, man. I appreciate everybody that showed so much love and support while I was here. Yeah, every time, you know, the two losses you have had, you come back bigger and better and spoken a fair bit about that. Like, do, do, is your future in the super welterweight division still chasing belts or like, can you go up like a big boy? Man, uh, that's, you know, we'll, we'll decide with my team and everything, but I don't think so. I feel I feel good. I made the weight uh, healthy at 154. I'm not going to take it back now. I've been saying I was healthy. I made weight hit good and everything. Um, none of that's taken back now. I did, you know, I came here at 110%. I, I did everything I could, and we're just going to go back and keep improving.